In this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can set up ProPresenter 7 on a couple of different computers, then bring it all together on your presentation computer, which is where the final content is gonna be presented from. Hi everybody, my name is Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs and welcome to my channel. I help teams and individuals to do church and event production with excellence. So you're running ProPresenter 7 on your presentation computer, but you wanna use a different computer to set everything up. This is a very common thing to do. Maybe you have someone setting up songs and then the pastor is setting up their sermon notes. The best part about this is you don't even need a second license to do this. Even if all you have is a single seat license, that's just fine. If you wanna know more about how licensing works with ProPresenter, uh, check out my video on that topic. So you, the pastor, and anyone else can set up content on your own unlicensed computer, then you can bring it all together to the licensed computer to do the presentation. So here is my laptop where I have set up a playlist and we're gonna say that everything I need for the service is in there. So the quick answer that some of you might be looking for is to go ahead and right click on the playlist, go to export, now include media with presentation, pick your location, hit desktop from me, I can change the name and then click save. I can save it to a USB stick or I can airdrop it to the other computer. Once you have moved this file to the presentation computer, double click on it to open it up and it's gonna automatically open in ProPresenter 7. So once the file opens, there's gonna be a new playlist with all of your assets ready to go. If you get a pop-up that asks, what do you wanna do with the new content? Write over, new version, or use existing. This means that there are presentation items in your library with the same names as the ones that you're trying to import. Okay, let's go back a little bit and talk about the logistics of this process. The first question I want us to ask is, how much setup do you actually need to do in advance, not on the presentation computer? So I hope this far into the video, you're not still wondering, why would I need to do this? Okay, so these are our front of house cards that we use every Sunday, and they live in this room, so we really don't have access to them through the week. We only have access to them on the weekends when we roll them out the front of house, and this is our ProPresenter iMac. So I, I'm in here messing with it to get some B-roll for this video, but I just wanted to show you this is a reason that you might need to do this. It's not always important to do everything in advance on a different computer and then bring it in at the last second and then present it. Number one is have all of your assets, new songs, videos, announcement slides available for download, then bring it all together onto the presentation computer. The next idea is fully setting up everything in advance. Basically, you're gonna get all the pieces, create all the pieces, create the completed playlist on another computer and then export it like we just did and have it ready on your presentation computer so as soon as the computer boots up, you can double click on the file, open it up and everything is going to come over from the other computer. Basically, overriding all presentations, everything is gonna come over from the other computer, ready to go, ta-da. So as we talk through this video, I'm gonna follow the approach where we set up things on our personal computer and then transfer the assets over to the presentation computer where the final playlist is gonna be assembled. So we're gonna to have to actually do some assembling, but we're gonna bring in all the pieces. Updates are gonna happen there. Only new stuff like songs and sermon notes are gonna get transferred in our playlist to the presentation computer. So if you're starting out with this technique, I would get a copy of the existing library from the presentation computer. This library contains all of your songs and other presentation items from your presentation computer. To get these files, go into Documents, ProPresenter, Libraries, and copy this folder from the presentation computer to the same place on the computer that you're gonna be setting up your songs on. Now that you have the existing song database, you're only gonna to need to set up songs that are brand new. Unless you need to create a new arrangement, in that case, I would advise you to do that on the presentation computer. So new songs are gonna be created on the setup computer, then transferred. Songs and arrangements will be updated from the presentation computer. That way, if any changes were made on the fly on the presentation computer, we aren't overriding them when we're importing the new stuff. We really want to avoid the scenario where we send the song that has a problem in one of the slides to the presentation computer. Now, fortunately, our operator sees the problem and fixes it. Then the following week though, we resend and override the song with the new version from the computer we set it up on that has a problem. So then the operator thinks, hey, it's fixed. I fixed it the week before, we're good to go. And then during the service, it messes up. So it's wrong during the service, but after the service, they fix it again thinking, I wonder how that happened. Now the story doesn't end there. The following week, the song is resent to the presentation computer with the exact same problem. We override it. Yeah, we really wanna prevent that potential nightmare. Plus, it's not psychologically good for your operators to know that 
any changes they make are gonna be overwritten the following week. For me, I really wanna encourage my people to not only learn how ProPresenter works, but be able to make changes as necessary. And if they know that nothing that they do matters, then, well, they just won't. The only time I have done this in the past is when I was automating lyrics on a machine, only used for lyrics that no operator was touching. And I knew that the new file was always better. So when looking at song backgrounds, I would go ahead and wait to add backgrounds to songs on your presentation computer. Download them to this computer, keep a library of stills and motion backgrounds on the presentation computer. This is something I like to coach and encourage our ProPresenter operators to do on their own. If a song doesn't have a background, then choose one from the media bin. If there isn't one there, then here's the website to download something that you think looks good and fits well with the song. If they need more input, I encourage them to bounce color ideas off of the volunteer running lights. This also gets them involved and empowered to making decisions together with something as simple as, hey lighting guy, do you have any preference to the color of this song? They used to ask a lot, but as time goes on, they ask less and less for my opinion on what backgrounds they should use. This is a great empowerment piece. How do we get our teams to think for themselves and take ownership? I think picking backgrounds is one of the most obvious and easiest ways to do that. For announcement slide assets, I suggest we pre-create and stage slides and videos in a Google Drive folder, or you could use email. I have two places where we put our announcement presentation items. Announcement loop, which is for pre, post service looping announcements. These have a go to next timer on them. Then I have a second item called announcement static, which is for when the slides are being talked about from the stage. This grouping has no go to next timers, so they can stay on the screen in the service as long as the host is talking about them. It's a really good practice to go into ProPresenter on your presentation computer, delete the old announcement slides, and then download the new ones from Google Drive or email. Then import them into ProPresenter 7. The reason I don't recommend creating a presentation item for your announcements and re-importing them with updated slides each week is because this is something that you have which is the same name all the time. So you're gonna end up with like 50 items in your library called announcements. So let's look at sermon notes. Sermon notes are something you can easily pre-build on another computer and then import them into the presentation computer. A major difference between something like announcement slides and sermon notes is that each week you can name them something unique such as sermon notes and then the date. So currently at my new church, we use full screen sermon slides that our pastor is creating and then sends us pre-built slides as JPEG images. So we can't manipulate any of the text inside a ProPresenter. So we again use either Google Drive or email to receive and download the JPEG files and import the sermon notes into the presentation computer. In the near future, I wanna get us away from having just JPEG full screen sermon notes and shift us to creating sermon slides in ProPresenter 7. So that way we can have lower third versions of the sermon notes for the broadcast. I have a full video on my channel where I talk about receiving text and building your own sermon notes inside of ProPresenter. That way ProPresenter can automatically generate stream lower third graphics as well as full screen audience outputs using macros and actions. I definitely recommend checking out that video. So video assets can also be staged in a Google Drive folder or sent via email. Then on the presentation computer, they can be downloaded and placed wherever they need to go. One other item I probably should have mentioned at this point in this video is building a pre-built playlist. So go through and add headers and placeholders for your entire service. That way you can just simply drag and drop things into your service. You can also utilize Planning Center to create your service and it'll even pull presentation items into the playlist through ProPresenter without even having to open Planning Center or anything like that using the Planning Center integration. So as you are pre-staging all of this content, we talked about the issues that can come up with having presentation items with the same name. So nothing in your playlist should have the same name as something already in the library of the presentation computer. Once we have all of these assets ready to go and your playlist has been created, right click on it and then select export. If you want your graphics and stuff to be included, be sure to select include media with presentations. Now save this to your USB stick or airdrop it. If you just wanna transfer a single library item, right click and select show in finder. And if you don't see this option, it's probably because you are in a playlist. Select show in library instead, right click on your item, select show in library, then select show in finder. Once you right click on it from the library, then transfer this file to the new computer. Looking at new theme slide layouts, if you have any themes that you've built on the setup computer and you wanna send them to the presentation computer, the easiest way might be to 
apply them to a song or even a single slide, and then on the presentation computer, go ahead and right click, go to themes, and then add selection to theme on the presentation computer, and now you can just save it to wherever you want. So that's all I have for you in this one. If you have found value in this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'm on this mission to help teams and individuals to do church and event production with excellence. See you in the next video, bye.